So if you ever thought you wanted to buy a cheap water heater, I would recommend buying the more expensive ones. Otherwise, you end up like this. So if you gotta get rid of a tree, Okay, so I have been talking to E, E Money. That should be, that should be your new your YouTube name, E Money. Um, you're gonna start a channel called Blonde Chick Plumbing. No way, <laughs> this is my this is my this is my pitch for her, because there are so few female plumbers. Not good for the landscaping, but good for a few million flushes. Like. Subscribe. Click the bell, please. Thank you. So we are doing some septic mm -hmm. tank stuff today, but this is galvanized, what, sewer pipe? Cast iron. Cast iron sewer pipe. I had to replace one of these in Tennessee going from my rental house to the street. Uh, they last about 50 years and every house had one. So this is what we're doing today. Septic tank. So it actually has a blueprint. So what if yeah, you, what if you don't, what if it doesn't look exactly like that when we're done? It will. <laughs> okay. It's we'll see. get inspected. This is the, uh, the plumbing shack. All right, so we just arrived on site. We're doing the one over the world uh, with a crew who is digging. This is uh, this is Blanche Plumbing. Seems to be a uh, apprentice master plumber. She is just starting out. So I have never actually uh, met a female plumber. So I think it'll be uh, you'll be on home and garden television, not too distant future. Uh, but this is the site. This is what we're working on. It's the van parked out there. And it's pretty interesting. It's a septic tank replacement. Digger in the background. All right, so what does he do? You've done one of these before. You've done a yeah. septic tank replacement. Okay, so good. Like digs it up, and then they bring in like this huge cray machine, put the septic system in. So what does he do with the old one? They smash it in with it. Smash it up and then we haul it out. How do you get it put in? They just kind of drop it right in. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna turn on. Okay, go ahead. Those are the dog houses right there that we put in the drain field, you know? Uh -huh. So there'll be 13 of them in each trench. So the old, the old septic tank is out back, and it, the road actually goes over, the driveway actually goes over the top of it. Right, which caused it to freeze every winter. Okay. So this is long overdue. Got it. And the new, what size is this one? This is for a three bedroom house. Three bedroom house, how many gallons? Thousand gallon tank. Thousand gallons. This is a standard oh, septic. This is a standard as it gets. The standard is a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Right. This guy pulled out a stump. This is where the new one is going, and he's gonna dig by the ditch first, and then back his way out. And he's pulling out that stump. He's pulling out stumps right now. Okay. And once those guys are done, then we're caving in the old one. Uh, then we're gonna start. Then we're gonna start. Okay. Hey, you do it. Okay. She's got me doing it. Okay, so this is the inside. That pipe, that size, has to go right where he's about to hit it. So we don't want a huge hole either, because you got to cement it back in, right? right? Or you break out. So as we were walking down here, the GoPro locked up. I had to pull the battery out, put it back in. It's the same uh, same problems with GoPros. They seem to be. I hit my knuckle on that pipe. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. Give me a swing. Good morning, John. We're gonna come out straight out, and the tank's gonna go right about where we. Okay, so the hole the hole we were smashing on the inside will come out right through here. We'll pipe it right down through there, and we have our expert shoveler. <laughs> Putting in a little backfill, then we're gonna put the pipe in to make sure it works. So they dug the pipe, the initial setup, now they're digging for the rest of the tank. And he's setting up the, the laser transit. I think it's some measuring. Again, I'm still, uh, still guessing on half this stuff. 
Only carrying one. Oh, oh! So what pipe did he hit? Uh, there must be a barn pipe or a pipe that comes out here to a pipe or one of the barns. Okay, can you see it? So supposedly uh, while they're digging they hit a pipe. Again, unmarked, old stuff. Some of these pipes have probably been here for 50, 60 years. Uh, or, uh, Ella, go grab the four-foot ladder out of my truck. Woo. Nice form, though. So this appears to be the arrival of the actual septic tank. It's rolling in. This guy's going to drop it as soon as they're done digging. Woo. So while I was running in to get a couple parts, they actually delivered and dropped to the septic tank. <laughs> All right, so supposedly we are digging the drainage field for the tank. So the tank is over there. We're digging the drainage field out this way. It has to stay a certain amount of distance away from the well over there. And you can't drive over it, so it's kind of a tight, tight lot, tight place to put it in. And he's starting on this side, and we're working our way backwards because of the tight location. So if you got to get rid of a tree, instead of... I guess who's doing this next? <laughs> and that's because he's... he's Banging the boom on the banging the boom on the tree. So now he's getting room for the boom. And he's checking what I what I can figure out, the long white or yellow stick is to measure the exact depth of where it's supposed to be when he gets in there and it's got beeps and uh, we've been we've been checking the depth of that all the way through as we go. Yeah so we just stepped it off from the well. It has to be at least 50 feet. <laughs> he was saying that back when he was younger he was doing one of these and the well like that over there had a white bucket over the top of it so you couldn't you couldn't see it it was a new construction so we put the entire septic tank in at the end of the day saw where the well was and they had to basically call everybody back and redo it remove everything to include the tank all the fields so yeah he's double checked that about three times now okay so tell me again so that hen house is going to go on the end right and then he's gone And so those pipes alongside the house are going to get laid first. Okay, so those good, and that goes over the top of them and it basically yeah. holds them in spot. Okay, got it. And it's got to be exact depth.
What do you need? Ella. Yeah. And that black and white box right there on the right. Grab four more plants out of there. Just reach with your right hand. It's right there. <laughs> replacement, something. You hit something every time. Back filling a little bit. stick is measuring to make sure it's exactly the right depth and we are putting these in line um, and this is the actual drainage field again I don't know this stuff I'm just regurgitating what uh, my quick explanation has been she actually knows more than I do she's done a few of these Standing it right on the lip, that lip right on here on the ledge. So stand it, stand it straight up. Oh. Stand it straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, stand it, stand it up. Right there, it's on. Now come down. And you gotta push forward, push forward. Right. Push forward. That's good. Got it. Yeah. Let me see if it's straightish. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of got it, right? And so once once it's actually down, and then she's gonna cave the sides in a little bit to keep it solid. Move it to the right, maybe a little. Yeah, I think. Right, good. I think, yeah. All right, so then she caves in the side a little bit. Basically that locks it down. Um, stops it from moving once it's lined up. There's actually a flag we're using to measure the, the angle. Don't go too far that way because we got to put it in. We got to put the next one. Oh, yeah. Little by little, little by little. We got one, two, and then one more. 13 will be in this row. And then we have two more of these over there. And he's connecting the pipe to the house. So the angle into the tank is a little short, so he's cutting the bank back. That's the last uh, clamshell thing we're putting on. Tell our guys And then we got two more. So he's repositioning to dig the other two. We've done one, two more, and then we're gonna connect this one over to the tank. And we had lunch delivered. Okay, we prep the pipes, get them ready, and we are working on the second two drain shields. Uh, each one of the drain shields have to be about three feet apart. We were a little too wide, so we're keeping them out, making some room. So the first one is already down. We're working on the second one. And it's actually four feet, not three feet. My calculation off the blue film is off. So tell us what happened. Yeah, we over to the right. Because why? 
because it has to be four feet. Four feet from edge to edge, and we were getting a little bit too close. So we got to basically chop this edge off and keep going. So those at the ends over there, the fields match up. Um, we were we were drifting a little bit too far to the right. So yeah, it's like 3D Legos, I guess. But Legos are always 3D, aren't they? So we are on the last drainage uh, <laughs> drainage field leg. And that is it. He is matching it up on the end there. And not good for the landscaping, but good for a few million flushes, or at least thousand. And then we're waiting for the inspector to come in like an hour or so. Put a, raise that just a little bit, I think, in the middle. In the middle? Okay. Uh, so he's putting on the pipes <laughs> to connect to the, old that, to, the, to the cast iron pipes. That's that. on the shelf in the back. I do too. I just don't feel like... You got to narrate. You got to talk about why it's important. So what we're talking about is the galvanized pipe up in the ceiling here. And you can see the galvanized pipe coming down from the um, upper cast story. Iron. Cast iron. Cast iron. Cast iron. And uh, oh. the problem is you can't, you can't really do anything with that. And it's got a lifespan of 50 years and the house is like 100 years old. So eventually all that's going to get chopped out and reattached to the fitting that he's putting in now. Um, but it's not happening today. It might not even be happening this year, but it will happen eventually. Not right. It's future work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Prepping for next. Hell will be doing it down the road. Someone will be, I, I guarantee know. it. Yep. I mean, someone's going to have to come in here and get it out of there. I would, like I was saying earlier, I had I had cast iron or galvanized in my house, my rental house. Did that wrong? Did you see that? Yeah, it was backwards. Talking, multitasking. Yeah, I was thinking about the, the rest of this project. <laughs> it got in my head. You gotta think about what you're doing. And uh, my piping went off in my roof yeah. or in the ceiling. And basically, water all throughout the uh, interior of the uh, the rental house. So I had to pull all that out. And, you did uh, the same thing again? Oh, so. well, it was the wrong side. Nobody's paying attention. I'm talking. I'm, <laughs> I'm watching you and talking, and you're jacking it up twice. I did, too. Yeah, so you can look at the age of these foundations. The... Oh, can you go get me a short piece of this pipe? Talking about this. So we were, we were talking about how they did these pipes back in the day. And you said that they would, they would, they had to hand thread all these pipes by hand. It was a big ratchet on a bar, probably this long, and you would ratchet each right. thread. Because like my grandma's house didn't have power until you know later on. It, it was the farm they built in the 1800s, yeah. and that farmhouse didn't have power until like the middle of the 19th century right. or 20th, 20th century. And if they had any plumbing, it would have been put in by hand. Right, and it would have been hand threaded. It would have hand hack sawed by hand the pipe off right first uh -huh. by hand, and then. Threaded right. it by hand. Threaded it by hand. And then put it up. 
right? <laughs> Without <laughs> move on. Right. So it was like like eons longer than him you know, sawzawing and put a little bit of a little bit of goop on it and it's done instead of all that amount of work. Well and then the big ones, right? Then he had to heat lead up. Oh right, yeah, the lead. Use lead. Jeez. <laughs> And that thing would do without power. These foundations. Yeah, some of these houses are ancient. You can see the old. That's how our house used to look like. Cut beams. That sounds like barn wood inside here. It's whitewashed. So we just mixed up some quick grit. Well, we when I say we, I mean mostly him. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cover that hole that he bashed in the wall this morning. Um, on this side, and then we'll do the other side. I'm gonna build a little form first. Some other, some other dime. Ella is eating food and putting away stuff, and we're waiting for the inspector. The inspector should be here in about 30 minutes. So the house out to the tank, the tank out to the drainage fields, and that thing is done. Oh, so that way, the giant possums can't crawl in. A little bit like waterproof. Right, waterproof. And then you do the other side later, some other time. Yep. So this is the inspector. So at the end of the day, we're waiting for the inspector to finish, putting the last few shovelfuls, then he's going to backfill as much as he can. Hopefully, we'll be done with everything tonight. But theoretically, if something was wrong, we'd have to redo it and we might come back, end up coming back tomorrow. But right now, everything's looking good. All right, so the inspection took about 15, 20 minutes, walked through, measured it, did some stuff. They padlocked the top of the uh, septic tank. He is backfilling now, and we are probably 20 minutes from being out here. Okay, they are going to stay and fill it up. I am not sure if we're sticking around the full time, but we are we are done for his part. Uh, the lady actually has a car packed behind the, the house, so he's going to try and clear a path as soon as he can so she can at least get out. this was done in one day so we showed up here this was nothing this was a <laughs> there's nothing here so this whole entire hole dug put in all in one day okay so I have been talking to e, e money that should, be, that should be your new your YouTube name e money um, you're gonna start a channel called Blonde Chick Plumbing. No way. <laughs> this is my this is my this is my pitch for her. Cause there are so few female plumbers and you're gonna be apprentice plumbing going through the actual training. And you know, you got the you got the trainer, you got the school right here, and you've been doing this for a while. You put in some tanks, you put in septic tanks, you put in wells. Yes, yeah, so you've done a bunch of stuff already. Um, so it's just a matter of time, uh, going through the training, but I think I'm thinking like home and garden televisions. They have those those twins. They don't have any chicks who do plumbing. So I think that's that's your Is that the, uh, not too distant future. Is that like the, what are their names? I don't I don't actually watch that much anymore. But I, I know there's those two twins that are on yeah. there, and they used to have a bunch of chicks that they did like house flipping. Right, right. So yeah, she's uh she's pretty good. She's done a few. She has a couple siblings who are not interested at all. Um, and she has a little bit of aptitude for it, so I've been pitching her the YouTube channel while she does it. Um, so we'll see. We will see. If you like the video, click the like button. Or go to the comment section and tell me what you would do different. So if you ever thought you wanted to buy a cheap water heater, I would recommend buying the more expensive ones. Otherwise you end up like this. 
this uh, the average water here is lasting about like, between what five and six years. They're supposed to last ten. The cheaper they are, the less uh, the less long they last. So this is just over the summer. The water he's he's replaced. We're gonna go take it in and scrap them and get some money for some of the stuff. So if you ever wondered where your old water heater goes, this is the place. <laughs> and this is him trying to bag it up. Yeah, mountains of scrap. <laughs> I'm supposed to be guiding him, but he's doing all right. so freaking cool. <laughs> I got a bad angle for the sun though. We got the truck weighed before we came in here. Now we get it weighed empty after we drop off some of the, I guess you have like batteries and some of the other more expensive metals. That's the scale over there. So this is the small scale. We set it about 30 minutes, getting ready to dump the uh, precious metals. Copper, batteries, what batteries, wire, all kinds of stuff. 